Hey everyone, here's a question from factorization. The question is factorize 4x square plus 12xy plus 9y square. So when you factorize means you have to write the given expression in terms of a factors. That's called factorization, right? Like it should be like, uh, suppose I want to write down the factors of 6, it will be 2 into 3. So 6 can be written as 2 into 3, like something into something. It should be written as a product of something. Now how to convert this into such form? Now if you see here, uh, we have all positive signs and you have learned about the identities, right? The first thing is whenever you see this type of question where you have a three terms and try to apply identity. If you cannot apply identity, you just take a common factors and try to solve it. Now why I'm saying identity here? Because looking at the question, I can be able to say that we have to use identity here. So how to identify that you have to use an identity in such type of question? Now, the first thing is you can see there are only three terms, right? In the identities, we have a three terms. And if you observe here, the first term and the last term are actually a square. Now, and all the signs are positive, which means I have to use my first identity, which is a plus b whole square. Now, I'm going to write down that identity here. So, it is a plus b whole square, which is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. Now you can see that in this identity all the signs are positive and we have only three terms. Here also we have a three terms. So how to identify that we have to use this identity. So first term and last term should be square. You can see we have a, a square and b square. So we have a x square that's really good x is a square but 4 is a square of any number. Yes 4 is a square of 2. So we have a 4 which is a perfect square number. And what about 9? 9 is a square of any number? Yes, it's a square of 3, right? So 4 and 9 are square of 2 and 3. And here for x we have already square and for y also we already have a square. Which means we can be able to apply the first identity. Only thing is we have to cross check the middle term if it is able to set or not. That's it. So I'm going to rewrite this question. So here we have a 4x square plus 12xy plus 9y square. Now this is equal to, this is nothing but 2 square, right? 4 is 2 square. So 2 square x square plus uh, 12xy. We can expand middle term here itself but I'm not doing right now. And this is 9 is 3 square, 3 square y square. Now this can be written as uh, 2x whole square. You have learned powers and exponents. If the bases are different and the powers are same, the base will get multiplied. So 2 into x we multiplied, we got 2x and the power will remain same which is 2. Um, plus 12xy plus this also same thing 3y whole square. Now apply the identity. Now look compare this two. We have a square and we have 2x square. So in place of a, we'll get 2x, okay, not 2x square, it is only 2x. In place of a, we're going to put 2x, okay, so a value is 2x. Similarly, b value will be 3y because b square we have and 3y square. So in place of b, not b square, only b will be 3y. Now we're going to understand the middle term. We have a 2ab. Now we know what is a, we know what is b, we are going to substitute here and just, we are going to just check if we can, we are getting the 2xy or not. So it's 2ab, right? So 2 into a value is 2x into b value is 3y. Now multiply them. So 2, 2 are 4, 4, 3 is 12, 12xy. You can see that we got 12xy, which means we are applying the first identity and we are going to expand it now. So I hope it is clear. I am going to rewrite this. So this will be equal to. 2x whole square plus this is 2 into 2x into 3y plus 3y whole square. Now you can see that this part is actually nothing but the right side of the identity. a square plus 2ab plus b square. That is what we got here. 2x square plus 2ab. a is 2x, b is 3y plus b square. In place of b we have a 3y. So 3y square. But what is a square plus 2ab plus b square? It is equal to a plus b whole square. So this whole thing will be equal to a plus b. a value is 2x plus b value is 3y. So 2x plus 3y whole square. That's it. 
So this is how you have to factorize. I hope it is clear how I have done it. You have to looking at the question, just try to understand whether you can able to apply the identity or not. If yes, try to apply the identity and get the answer. I hope this question is clear. In case you have any question on factorization, drop a comment. I'll try to clear it. Thank you so much for watching.